Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Rick here. Uh, just left the office, man. It's, it was dark when I left the house this morning for something. It's almost dark. Uh, now heading home uh, right at 6 o'clock. Uh, heading home. Uh, stop and grab the, ba the baby and, and, and the kiddo or something. And just sitting here, I just want to take a brief moment, just a little time before I get to the house. Uh, to encourage you and to hold you accountable. Somebody that is watching this is going through something right now. Somebody that is watching this has dreams and visions uh, unrealized. Somebody who is watching this has been to a point in a place in their life where they know that there's something more out there, but they don't know how to get it. They don't know what to do. They, they, they're they starting to question the process. They're starting to wonder if, if it's meant for them. Let me tell you something. Let me be very clear. Suffering is not your lot in life. Poverty is not your lot in life. Just existing to exist is not your lot in life. Sitting up and finding ways to survive is not your lot in life. Being average isn't your lot in life. Things happen in life. Sometimes we're born into situations that are not conducive for success. Sometimes we are thrust into situations by the loss of, the loss of loved ones, by uh, sudden change, by sometimes our own poor decision making. But let me tell you something. Being stuck in a bad place isn't your lot in life. You have a right to make a choice. You have a responsibility to make a choice that moves you in a different direction. Here is where it becomes a little tricky. This has not has absolutely nothing to do with ease. This has absolutely nothing to do with finding some 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 uh magic potion or magic can, uh, cantation that you can sit up and say and everything's gonna be all right. This isn't solely about speaking into existence. While speaking has a massive force and a massive role in the manifestation of things, it, it, it's not the sole component. There first has to be a belief. In the belief that that, that there has to be such a strength in the belief, such an absolute give to the belief that it triggers movement, it triggers uh, commitment, it triggers a consistency. It makes you stand up and look at what you're facing and know that enduring what you're facing produces results. It's got to be something specific that you're looking at and aiming at. It's got to be a vision that's clear. That's why writing it down is so important, whether you are religious or not. It is consistently talked about in ancient and, and uh, sacred scripture, the importance of writing it down. Uh, it, 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 write it down, make it plain. Write it down, make it clear. Put it in image, put it in words. Speak the word, see the image. Be very clear on it. Why? Because the clearer you are on it, the easier you're going to be able to recognize if you're on path to it. you also be easier to recognize as you get closer to it and you start to experience it. You'll know it because you've seen it. You, you, you've tasted it. You've smelt it. You, you, you've literally basked in it in your imagination. Your imagination is powerful. you got to create it in your imagination, but you can't fold. So you can't balk on it because it's hard. You can't balk on it because you're experiencing delay. You can't balk on it because people are talking about it. You can't balk on it because you're afraid. No, all of those things come with it. You're going to have to learn how to gird up. You're going to have to learn how to tighten up. You're going to have to learn how to square up. And you're going to have to look life in the eye. You're going to look life head on. And you're going to have to sit up and say, I'm built for it. You're going to have to look life head on and sit up and say, no, no matter what, I'm not turning around. You're going to have to look life head on and say, you know what, no matter what it is takes. I refuse to quit. I'm going to make it. I'm going to push through. Let me tell you something. Relentlessness cannot be denied. Fortitude cannot be denied. Uh, 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 an audacity to seek higher ground cannot be denied. It's going to take some pushing. I'm going to tell you something. If you keep pushing, if you keep fighting, you're going to find out you're going to fool around and make your mark. Now, in the course of moving through life and making your mark, sometimes you're going to get marked up. That's just the way it goes. It's okay though, because for every scratch, for every cut, for every bruise you uh, you, you you obtain, 
that will be a reward for your consistency, for your faithfulness, for, you, for your willingness to stay the course. It's not about anybody being chosen. It's about walking in your natural destiny. You have a, a pre a pre chosen, pre established destiny of greatness. The problem is you were born into a world that would rather shrink into mediocrity than to stand up and rise to the level of their design. You were born into a world where people seek comfort more than they do destiny, more than they do purpose, more than they do greatness. And that has put you in a situation where you think that's where you have to be. No, uh -uh. you gotta be allergic to average. You gotta literally have an all out allergy to being mediocre. You gotta make up in your mind that no matter what happens, there's something great out there. I will not die average. I will not die just being another person who lived on this earth, but just barely existed. No, I'm gonna leave my imprint on this world. I'm gonna leave something that lives and speaks of me long after I'm gone. I'm talking legacy now. I talk about legacy a lot because at the end of the day, that's all you got. All the things you, even when you become successful, all the things you buy, all the things that you hoard has no place once you leave here, somebody else will have it. Somebody else will enjoy it and they won't say it's yours. They'll claim it as theirs. And you got to have something that speaks for you after you're gone. How did you live? How many lives did you touch? How many things did you overcome? How hard did you ascend to? Not for the sake of gaining the approbation and approval and praise of other people, but for setting an example for people who wanted to live better, do better, be better. That's what I'm challenging you to do right now. Raise the standard at which you operate. Raise the level of your expectations. I've told you this before. God and life will only meet you at the level of your expectations. If you're expecting little, you get little. If you're expecting uh, to be stagnant, you'll be stagnant. But if you start expecting more out of yourself, you'll rise to it. You'll live up to it. You'll walk in it. And eventually you will watch it manifest in the third dimension. Because it cannot be denied. The question is, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? On that note, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. Make sure you check the description box so that you can take advantage of our The One You Love event where you can literally choose how you want to work with me and whatever package you choose, whatever program you choose, you will be gifted an additional package of equal value to give to someone else. And there's no greater gift than to give someone a gift where they empower themselves, where they rise up and start to live life at a new level. That's priceless. And if you decide to work with me, I'm gonna gift you an equal package so that you can give somebody. And on that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day.